All right, so the video I'm going to show you right now is how to add text, so like names, to a Tumblr. I get asked a lot for this one because in the mock-up I show how to do it with the camo print. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to pick my text tool, and I'm actually going to, uh, the font for the one that's shown in the mock-up is KA Waterpark. So I'm going to find my font, which is right here. You can pick any color, but I'm just going to do black. And I'm going to type the name, so let's say I do Luke. Okay? So, if you just wanted it black, you could then, you know, angle it, move it around, whatever. So, this is where I'm going to have the name go. Like that. Angle it a little bit more. All right. So, but I want it camo. So, and I want it to match the top part of the cup up here. So, I'm going to take my font or my text rather and I'm going to move it over here and get the camo that I want so let's see maybe I'll do it like this okay now I'm going to clip it out of the camo now how I do it is I hold my control key and then I come over to the layers panel and I click on that text right there so control key and I'm holding it and I'm going to left click right in that text box and you'll see the outline of Luke. Now I'm going to come down here to the layer because that's where I'm going to cut it out from and I'm going to hit control J. Okay. Now it looks the same right now. I'm going to hide this top layer right here of the name and I'm going to move the clipped layer right over here and I can still size it and do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to kind of angle it a little more and then it's still a little light for me. So I usually like to put a stroke around it. So if I want to put a stroke around it, I come back over to the layer that it is. This is the layer. It's layer two and I'm going to right click. I'm going to come up to blending options and I'm going to hit the stroke. Now, if I want to do a pattern stroke around it, I've got all these patterns saved. I don't want a pattern, I just want color. So I want it black, and I don't want it that big. That's awfully big. So now I can come over here and I can move this bar up and down to the size I want my stroke. And I hit OK. And there I just added the name in the camo print just using the top part of the template itself. All right, guys. I hope that made sense.